Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com, and I wanna talk about here in this video a great stock trading platform tool that you really should be using and that you need to be using. It's a tool that is totally free. It's a tool that is available on all these plat. Well, let me take a step back. I, I guess I don't know for sure if it's available on all stock trading platforms, but as far as I'm aware, it is. Let me put it this way. If your stock trading platform that you're using does not offer this tool I'm about to talk about, then it's time to find a new platform because, it, I mean, this is kind of the, the backbone of what these trading platforms should be offering. But like I said, I'm very confident that whatever platform you're currently using, then it is going, you know, this tool is gonna be available to you. And this tool is important just from almost an emotional standpoint in the sense of, have you ever been here before? Oh, I missed it. You missed what? Well, you identified a trade, you saw the setup, it met the criteria of your strategy, and then for whatever reason, what you thought would happen did happen, but you just got distracted or you just forgot about it or you weren't aware of it, and then you missed the opportunity that you had identified. I mean, have you ever been there before? I know I've been there many times before. So really just from a, almost a, a mental health perspective, this is a tool that I would argue really should be used. Maybe some of you have already heard of the tool and my job in this situation will be to try to convince you and persuade you to start to utilize it more within your trading. Or if you're new and just getting started in the markets, maybe you've never even uh, heard of the tool or maybe you're not even aware that something like this exists. So in that situation, well good, I'm making you aware of it and hopefully this can help you, you know, open up more opportunities for yourself. And just like I said, for all of our sakes, help with our mental health because as I'm sure if you've ever had real money on the line, you know, trading can be quite the mental ball game. Now, before I go forward, to set up context here, I'm not gonna be talking in theory. I'm not gonna be saying, well, if this happens, uh, no, I wanna use an actual example that uh, you know played out that way that you, so you know that I'm not sitting here talking about you know some from a textbook and you know, oh, well, cherry picking everything perfectly. No, this played out, this was a, a, a real life example, comes from something that very well could have occurred to any members of the community. Now, why do I say members of the community? Well, if you're not familiar with claytrader.com, I offer a community. And part of that community is I send out my personal scans via newsletter. So what I wanna focus on here, and actually, let me just take a step back. So for context sake, this is coming from the week of February 24th up there, and a scroll down inwards. The one that I wanna focus on here was on ticker symbol HTBX. And the, the name of the, the alert that I made was, hey, you know what, is there some sort of breakout coming? So down here, I made a couple of comments on it, but right here being noted that 28 cents was a very important level, right? I, I called it actually, you can see right there, a very stubborn area of resistance. So in other words, you know what, that, that's the level that would matter. You know, if that level can be broken, then hey, you know what, some things could happen. You know, that would be the breakout point. So then over here, you can see how I had the, the pattern, all that mapped out. So that is the backbone here. This is not me just cherry picking something. No, this is literally coming from an alert that members had access to. So like I said, the first scenario they're gonna walk through very well could have happened to somebody. And I mean, it'd be very understandable how. So looking here at the platform and the chart that I'm using, I know I'm gonna get questions, so I'll answer it right now. Uh, this is the Webull um, desktop platform and I'll put some links down below uh, if you're curious more about the platform, if you like what you see. Um, in fact, I, I relatively recently did a video where I compared these technical charts to uh, a, a chart provider that uh, costs right around $1,500 per year, and you'll see these ones did very, very, very well, matched up right next to each other. So again, I'll put that video down below. But I am using the Webull online platform here. Um, this is not the one I personally use, the one I use. Uh, cost quite a bit more, but this one is completely free. Um, but I'll, I'll just leave it at that, like I said, if you're interested in learn, learning more about the platform that you're seeing in this video, then like I said, I'll just put uh, the links down below if you're watching on YouTube in the description box, or just at claytrader.com down below the video. But here is again the, the setup that was mapped out there within uh, the, the personal scans that I sent out to members. So like I said, first scenario, let's just walk through this. If you're not aware of this tool, then this very well could have happened. So the first day, the price pulled back there. So at that point, all right, it, it's looking like, and like I said, this is totally a valid thought to have. Well, I mean, it's, it's not looking like a breakout's gonna happen. And then the next day, the price literally has that much more bearishness. So from that point, it becomes that much more of a valid thought to be thinking, well, you know what? It doesn't look like a breakout's gonna happen because now the price has dropped you know, all the way down there. 
It's sitting at that lower tread line. So for whatever reason, I mean, it still may be on your watch list, but you're not putting that much priority on it. And then right there, it becomes that much more logical. Wow, all right, that pullback occurred even more, and not even close to breaking up through that 28 cent mark. And then right there, again, yeah, it just, it just, I mean, so at this point, I can very easily see, I can understand how in this scenario, it's just faded into oblivion. It's gone to a, a, a point of view where it's just, yeah, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm paying attention to it in the sense of it was part of the scans and part of the newsletter that was sent out. But yeah, it's, it's not even anywhere close to breaking 28. So I'm not gonna pay that much attention to it, if at all. And then all of a sudden, that happened. And you can see that, yeah, a huge green candle and that level definitely broke through 28. And that was followed by the next day where the price went all the way up here and now all of a sudden hit 88 cents in basically two days. And to speed things up, it eventually went up and hit a high of $1.25 in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five days went up and hit that high. So a crazy, crazy, you know, well over, I mean, well, I don't know the math off the top of my head, but we'll just leave it at that. 200, 300% happened. But you know what? I can see how people would have totally, totally missed it because it behaved in that manner first, right? It rolled back over. So is there a tool out there that could have helped prevent just, you know, people losing total track of it? And yeah, there is. So this is a tool that, like I said, you need to be using. Your, your stock trading platform better have available to you. Now, it's going to be different. It's going to look different from platform to platform. Everything's gonna have kind of a unique twist to it and all that. So from that point of view, just keep that in mind that not every single one is gonna look exactly like what Webull is offering here. But like I said, the, the core dynamic here is that you will need to be able to set alerts. Your platform needs to have some sort of alert tool that can help you you know, remind you and bring your attention back to things before they happen. So again, in this situation, remember 28 cents was that key level. So the way it works on Webull is you can, you can right click and say, create an alert. Now over here, there's a, a bunch of different settings. I mean, you could do it based on percentage volume, but in this situation, just very quickly, well, we would want an alert at, or based on the price. So as far as this, well, we would want it above something, right? Because at the time that it was made, you would want to make sure that you would see it. But the key here is, right, you would want to be aware of it before the breakout happened. So in this situation, 28 cents. You don't want to be alerted when it's at 28. You want to be alerted a little bit beforehand. So in this situation, you know, in this little made-up story that we're going through, well, not really a made-up story because this really did play out, but in this scenario, you would say, well, let, you know what, let me know when it's at 27. So when the price gets up above 27 cents, and here you could, you know, like I said, this is where it'll all be different, but in this case, just maybe you could call it a breakout coming to kind of remind yourself what this all is going for, and then you would hit save, and then down here on the platform itself, you can actually see there's a nice little pie slice right there that is reminding you that there's an alert on this one, so if you were to hover your, your cursor over it, you can see right there, alert on HTBX when price is above 27. So therefore, in this situation, when the price rolled over, so yeah, you would have totally forgotten about it for the reasons already discussed, but on that movement right there during that day, when that candle was surging upwards, you would have an alert that popped up that said, hey, HTBX is above 27. Now in this situation, you would have probably been caught off guard a little bit. Wait, it's what? Last I saw it was like down at 20 cents. What do you mean it's at 27 now all of a sudden? You would have pulled it back up and you would have noticed, oh wow, it is actually approaching that 28 cent mark and you would have been ready for it. Because now, of course, this assumes that you gotta be at your computer or at your phone. I mean, this can only have, I mean, who knows, technology, maybe someday it can send some sort of like over the airwaves shock to you that buzzes you no matter where you're at and you're like, ow, oh. But as of right now, as of recording this video, that technology does not exist. But assuming you're at your platform, then yeah, you would have had something popped up that said, hey, look, HDBX, it's at 27, or excuse me, yeah, 27 cents. And you could have gone and very literally uh, taken advantage of it, got in, and then had a very, very nice trade.
So this is just one way the alert could be made, but to offer up a little bit more context here, so again, on this, it's gonna be different for everybody, I wanna keep reiterating that. But HTBX, so if you were to click on this one within Webull and go to it, then you can see that there's there's lots of different uh, types of, uh, of uh, you know possibilities out there. So you click up here on Smart, and now you can see, maybe you wanna be reminded by it for a stock's earnings. Uh, maybe you wanna be, if all of a sudden, any of these dynamics play out, then you can be reminded. And like you said, there, there may be some, maybe the, the platform you're using, the alerts aren't as in depth. Who knows, maybe the platform you're using has just that many more choices and uh, you know little kind of dynamics that you could use. But I mean, I think earnings, that could be one where if you have a, a favorite stock that you like to trade and, and you always enjoy it on earnings, you know that could be something that you could use. But like I said, there's all sorts of different attributes you could have. I mean, you can have scheduled alerts, but at the end of the day, you wanna have alerts out there. I mean, this one you could add in another different type of alert. So like I said, I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole too much in, to, in terms of how Webull actually offers it, but my point here is that alerts can be made for a lot of different things. I think probably the most commonly used, uh, the wisest way to go about it would be, hey, if the price is going to approach a certain uh, level that you care about, well then put alert in motion so that you can be notified when that is about to play out so that you don't miss out on something where, where this was a pretty unique situation. That's why I liked it and picked this as the example because of that downwards move there. If you're not using alerts, then this, like I said, downwards move here would have very rationally, very logically just kind of wiped it from your memory and you would have never really, uh, odds are probably missed the big surge that occurred right there. So hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully, I, like I said, maybe I've persuaded you, you've already, you've already known that you, there's alerts that are offered within your platform. So if I can persuade you to have maybe start using this, that would be great. Or if you're not aware, as somebody that's new, hey, you are in it where now, so there's a potential out there to, to help your mental health when not needing to worry about the, ah, oh, I missed it. So make sure to check those things out. If you enjoyed the video, a couple things from my uh, end. First off, please hit that like button. That's a very quick way to let me know, hey Clay, thanks for making this. Please keep making videos like this. I found it helpful. Also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or, uh, I mean, if you, if you have any great stories about how an alert actually uh, you know saved you from having a whole lot of regret because you missed something. Uh, but yeah, any of those comments down below. Or also, please, any suggestions, if you have any, uh, uh, things, hey Clay, could you do a video on something like this? I'm always looking for suggestions and uh, I am I, I appreciate it all, I, I make no promises that I'll ever do a video on it, but hey, you know what, I'm, I'm open for suggestions and I, uh, I I welcome them in the comment section. So like I said, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and also check out the channel in its, as, an, in, as a whole. There's lots of other videos, there's some live trade videos, there's lots of other content. So to check out the channel, hopefully you like what you see and you decide to subscribe. Uh, but if nothing else and you enjoy the video and want me to keep making videos like this, just hit that like button. Thank you for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.